People have been coming and going in the dining room, though, from outside. There are two uh, older older men still sitting there by the, uh, sit, sitting there by the corner. Uh, one of them being uh, Knut, the fisherman that you met earlier. One of them um, sort of muttering to the entire room, saying that no, it doesn't bode well. Not murder. It sounds like the devil is a foot in crooked. Nope. All right. So, where you folks gathering down Are by the waiting? dining room? I believe everybody. Uh, okay, Hilding is out there in the cold. Yes. Beatrice yeah, has started been, so. to go out after him. And mm. I believe that that leaves Elsa uh, to go out after them with Dog. Um, and I believe that Hilding has the other dog. Well, two right. out of three. Um, yeah. And right. then, uh, okay. but I don't know if Root is going or not. Well, I I was like asking for the confirmation from Lisa, mm -hmm. uh, who is living in in the room uh, yeah. next to Olga's, and I guess Lisa is telling that it's the three sisters. Yeah. No, 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 Lisa herself is uh, staying at the servants' quarters downstairs, uh, not far from the from the kitchen, actually. What does that mean, Peter? Can she check the names with Lisa or not? Y yes, yeah, okay. she can. She can check the links with Lisa, of course. Yeah, so I have, I have um, gone looking for her, and then right. I'm asking, asking this thing where, wherever the, wherever Lisa is. So oh, I don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah, yeah, yeah. She's in, she's in the dining room now. She, she's kind of, she come back for a while, a little while, just clearing off the tables, you know, so yeah. the, tending to the place. And then, then if I get the confirmation, they are. Indeed, these three. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, these names were yeah, Josephine Adler and Aura Bang and Frida Samson. Yes, that was the names. She, she's not nodding silently. Okay, I, I thank her and um, yeah. Okay, yes. so that basically basically confirms for Ruth yes. that that they are somehow the connected. The the artists that came here to to study the area. So I'm okay to go because now there's some reason. I, I'm not running after some in, innocent who knows who woman who just wants she to just, go to the forest. She just wants to have a perfectly normal affair with one of the husbands in town, which is none of our business. For example. Yeah, I mean, who, who knows what? Like it, it doesn't matter. It's it's basically none of our business. But now now it's kind of like our business. It was made our business. Uh, it's justified now. So I can um, notify Elsa, I assume, because I, I, I would guess you want to know about it. I mean, this must have happened. taken like at least 15 minutes or something like that. Certainly. Be, be, be yes. be at least gonna, uh, I think they're torturing uh, you, Ola. Magnus. Yes, no, I think it's uh, really building up to some really tense. Hilding, uh, all right, then shall we return to Hilding, by the way? Uh, yeah. Before, like, how, how, how sad is Magnus? Uh, is asking. Uh, you, I mean, I, from my perspective, I, I probably see Beatrice coming out of the window, uh, like, in the building, and I say, "Yay, I'm not alone." And then, like, 15 minutes later, she has arrived to my 70 meters. Before that. Uh, Magnus was crying. Magnus got her crying and so on. Uh, I, I, do I have to do something to see how, how well equipped this boy is to go out? <laughs> if it's worth yeah. it to drag him out or just say tell him to be with the priest. <laughs> Very reassuring, out, right? comforting, wise presence. The priest. <laughs> Uh, not anymore. <laughs> not after the last interaction. <laughs> it was last. You want to be with the priest? You don't want to be with that. I'm coming. I am coming. Of the priest is weird today. <laughs> right, so, so, <laughs> boy, that was really scary. <laughs> <laughs> so now we go to the Hilding and now we are in 
with their links. All right, <laughs> so everyone but the priest is coming along. Yeah. All right, um, I unfortunately <laughs> seem to have company. Indeed. <laughs> yes. Don't we all? Mm. Uh, in, in in any case, uh, you bring the I think it's the summary now of three dogs as well as uh, uh, five other yes, people. It's, it's uh, a small, quite a small, quite a big party at least. Uh, venturing out into the snow, it's still quite windy <laughs> outside, snow blowing everywhere. Though Hilding has seemed to found uh, what appears to be some shelter. Yeah, and I'm like next pointing, to, and I'm pointing towards something that used to be tracks before the wind went over them. Yes. You see what appears to be rather small tracks uh, of what appears to be uh, women's boots. It would be so nice if it was like a rabbit or something like that. Found the wrong tracks. But I, yeah. this is... Um, so, where were you? I've been waiting. She's I... going away. <laughs> I... I... I don't. I have no answer. Yeah, never mind. Let's go. I I I shake my gun. Look at the like revolver and stop to that then and put it in my belt and then I go like this, like big steps, breaking branches, not being silent at all. You're heading out down into. Seems the like somebody side. ought to do some tracking, shouldn't they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think so. But in the wrong direction, not. <laughs> If I if I, remember, if I remember correctly, uh, I think this would be uh, investigation, right? Uh, or am I am I wrong? I think given, this, this yeah. would be uh, very much an investigation. So I'll yeah. I'd use the, I I'd try to get the dog to follow the tracks. All right, um, uh, logic, building. a logic <laughs> investigation roll, please, for the one who is tracking. And giving the yes. drone back to Beatrice. All right. Call Marx. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I call Marx all of it. Yes. Call Marx. Furious. <laughs> all right then. How did the road go, Elsa? One success. All right then. It's a little hard. It takes a little while. Even though there is snow, there's still quite wind outside. Though the wind, unfortunately, unfor uh, uh, seems to not be blowing as much as it had uh, deeper inside the woods. Amidst the tracks uh, of uh, what appears to be a, a rather small shoe size uh, of women's boots, you find another set of tracks. They look like cloven hooves. Up ahead, amidst the darkness, I reckon one of you brought a torch or a lantern. Uh, it's all. It's already night. Long pass. <laughs> it right, seems then. pretty likely somebody brought some light. Seems reasonable. I don't have any on me, but can we say that we could something? have taken something from the guest house? Otherwise, I don't. It's usually there's usually there's yeah. usually uh, some uh, yes some uh, some uh, some lanterns uh, by the by the porch usually, uh, especially for tired guests one, at least. Mm -hmm. yes, Probably. But could could Hilding have taken one because, like, I mean, yes, he went first. I was probably standing with a lantern. Yeah. Let's assume two or three lanterns. Yeah. All right then. Um, over in the distance, though, amidst the branches up ahead, you can see what appears to be a light moving along amidst the trees and the branches. Though it doesn't have the regular warm color of an oil lantern flame, it appears bluish. What do you do? You step behind the tree, looking very prepared. Point towards that to the others. Do something! Is that light in the direction of, uh, or the other way around? Do the tracks go in the direction where the light is? Yes. Although, Elsa, it's rather dark outside. The, you can see the, the, sh the shadows in the woods almost playing tricks on you as uh, you walk along. 
uh, the lantern itself showing all kinds of shadows amidst the trees and branches. As you trek through the woods, looking through the undergrowth with your keen eyes, you find something that looks a little out of the ordinary. You find uh, amidst the, you know, the evergreen trees, the spruces and the things like that, you find what appears to be a small twig with evergreen leaves. Uh, these are fresh and, and green as well. There are spruces and oaks around you, but in your hand you find a small twig with what appears to be green leaves on it. As you pick it up, you realize it's the twig and leaves of an ash. I want you to roll an observation test. For Elsa. Counting dice. Two successes. Out of the corner of your eye, amidst the shadows of the dark woods, you spot what appears to be a green-skinned feminine figure with long, dark, drooping hair, just for a split second, like five or six trees away from you. The next second, the figure is gone, but you can hear a soft, feminine whisper on the wind. I will be found by nobody. And I will find no one. I will be found by nobody. And I will be f will find no one. The green leaves of the twig wither and die in front of you in your hand, mm -hmm. becoming as brown and dry as the rest of the scattered leaves on the ground. It is you who notice this. And only you. Okay, so uh, right now uh, I'm still standing, waiting for the others to do something because this is even more. I'm I'm actually in the woods with three women. I'm not that comfortable, and, and three dogs. Uh, neither of those I'm very comfortable with. More more or less, not not because just because I don't know how to behave. I know that there is some kind of you. You're supposed to be in, in yeah, have to do stuff to be accepted, and I'm not doing it. I, I I really know that. So I'm I'm actually waiting for someone else to take, uh, like, to, to point towards what I'm supposed to do. Uh, can, can Beatrice make an investigation or learn and uh, to, and see if she can figure out what the blue flame is? Is she recognizing something like what that it might be connected to? I would say there would. Uh, I would say you cannot roll for this. Okay. Seems uh, quite otherworldly. That's perhaps it's the um, it's a re really hot flame, maybe from. From a, from a special kind of oil or something. Uh, maybe from, from gasoline for door shipping or something, maybe. One of the blue flames from the factories, yeah. Where was this Elsa's thing? Like, is she just like somewhere far ahead? Um, well, she's just she's just beside you, or not far off from from where you. Okay. Probably some steps ahead. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, a bit, a bit ahead because like you, you have the dog and did it, did it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, are, are you like stopping now, like when there's blue light, or what? Did, did the party like just? <laughs> we don't move anymore. <laughs> no. I think I would continue I moving. I probably stopped for a short moment, but nobody really knew why, and picked up something from the ground, which you hopefully didn't see. And um, then when seeing that the tracks are in the direction of the flame, I simply decide to continue following the tracks. So okay, going then, in that direction. Then I'm happy. I don't say anything. I'm just following somewhere. Yeah, for me, that's a kind of a cue. So I, 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 since you take the, take the lead, I, I, like, I pass you and go a bit front of you and go behind. I move around. The party, and uh, like very like like um like someone has like a bit I mean a bit jittery right now. Try 
trying to look cool. And I think Magnus is going to be at the edge of the um, of the light we have and try to hide as much as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is in the middle, but she's making sure everybody's there and looking around, so so Nathan doesn't work and doesn't disappear. <laughs> as you continue up ahead, uh, Ruth, I want you to roll an observation test as well. One success. You see something amidst the branches. You feel the area you're standing in is suddenly getting even colder. It's still April, but you can feel your body shivering completely now all of a sudden. The breath from your mouth forming into mist. And it seems like shadows are dancing in the vicinity. You turn around and there amidst the branches you can just make out a feminine shape with a long skirt and a long stripe-like hair hanging in a tree dangling slowly back and forth. The creaking of the branch and the rope from her neck seems deafening to you. The only thing you can hear now, you can hear disembodied voices in the window, in, in the wind now. Murderess, she should have been spared. Your fault, innocent blood, your hands. You hear the body of the rope dangling faster and faster, speeding up, blocking out all other sounds. You see to your horror the dark shape opening up, bloodshot eyes, and you feel yourself screaming aloud. In the next moment, this is all, it's all gone. It's just dead leaves on the wind blowing by. Make a fear one test. Okay, well, how do how did I do a fear test? Did, how, did we do it before? Let's see how I am a little. I'm a little. Let's see. Things. Oh, jeez. Oh, I'm a little rusty sometimes with rules. I'm sorry for that. May I, yeah, may go, I help? Go ahead, Helma. Yes, um, yes. So it says, if you you can choose whether you want to tackle the situation with logic or empathy. Yes. And then you can add additional dice equal to the number of player characters present. No, wait, maximum three additional dice. So you would choose either logic or empathy and then you can add three dice. And then you count Maybe successes again. No dice for donks. <laughs> Not even for everybody in the party. Three extra. Three maximum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The dice is on, yeah. The dice is only if we help, right? No, no, it's just them there. No, no, there. no, no. It's just because we are there. Yeah, yeah. I, I, gives I you a little break yeah. from being in a group. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bonus from okay. being in a group. I I think I'm I'm going to like I don't know if I have to you know justify somehow that it's uh, it's a logic one or empathy one, but um uh, I I think I'm going with empathy anyways because I get more dice. All right. I get sounds eight good. dice. Sounds, sounds good. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. you recognize the lady from somewhere. Somewhere, someone from your youth. Yeah, one success. You, uh, you take a breather. You're still, your heart is still racing, but uh, you, you, you compose yourself. Looking around, and there's only, only, there's only dry leaves in the wind. Is all, and the others are here as well. This, so you clearly, uh, you saw something, but you weren't sure what it was. The, the others are here. It's quite reassuring, though. As you move up ahead, you, you start to feel like someone is watching you. Somewhere, all of you can see this, somewhere out in the corner of your eye, you can feel blue lights dancing around, just, what do you call it, uh, several, several, uh, several meters away, hundred, several hundred meters away. And you see yeah. what appears to be like glowing, what appears to be glowing red eyes in the distance. Suddenly you hear the scream of a woman. 
No! Please! No! Uh, and uh, you, you hear what appears to be a, a woman screaming off in the distance, uh, and sudden uh, tearing noises, and uh, uh, and sudden screams in the night, piercing the air, uh, making all the birds fly in all directions all around you. Uh, what do you do? It's somewhere up ahead to the north. I run towards the north. You run towards the yeah, north. Magnus runs uh, south. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You Magnus should catch me now. Magnus runs south. Uh, the rest of you, I, I reckon, run to the north. <laughs> in, in a in a mid stick in a mid stick <laughs> clearing. Oh, sorry. Man, this is my in. I, I'm I'm not trying to impress someone. Uh, this is my instinct. This is what I'm doing without thinking. So I'm I'm just trying to help someone. Being uh, really? so, uh, this is my lack of impulse control. Uh, it's the same thing that happened with Silstrip and back in Gothenburg. I'm running. Mm-hmm. To, I'm actually putting my gun down, but I, because the gun is more of a show, so I'm like running with my fist like like this. All right, Hilding running up ahead. The rest of you behind him. Uh, you come to what? I'll be shouting! I'm coming! I'm coming! You you hear another 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 scream from a young woman, and up up ahead in a clearing, uh, amidst the branches, snow uh, slowly uh, coming down all around you. You see what appears to be a large blood-stained clearing. The young woman herself lying in what appears to be a pool of blood before you, reminding you very much about Olga herself. She seems to have been sort of. Yeah, you can see a bloodstained, uh, bloodstained young woman with blondish hair, wearing nothing but black, black clothes all around, and a and a, a small black hat lying in the snow in, beneath the body. Well, where's the perpetrator? Where's where I'm I'm looking for someone who did this. As you look around in the snow, you can see several tracks from the from her uh, from her boot prints as well, as well as large. Cloven footprints in the snow. 